Alright, what's going on guys? We're just trying to here. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Insurgents. And uh, in the last episode, we left you guys on maybe a cliffhanger. I don't even know. But we're in this library. It's kind of spooky. And we're going to learn some mysteries probably. So let's go. Uh, ooh. Like some crap's going down over here. Don't want to go over there quite yet because there's probably something in here. Is that a... What? Ooh. Now you... Now, wait, so now I use escape rope? I thought I couldn't use it here. You guys not making any sense, yo. Yeah, there's definitely something going on down here. Are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. Seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. I doubt there was even a prophecy. I, it's probably just a legend. All right, I was gonna ask, ask this. Uh, what? Why? Why is there a um? Just a like? Why is a library in possession of an orb that like? Could change the world. Why is that a thing? Just wondering. <laughs> but anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. Oh, you're so sassy. Aurora is the auger, so it's gonna work. There's, there is some kind of Pokemon coming out of that. Who dares wake me? What was that? W what's happening? This, this has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. What do we have here? How, that, that's his house guess. I, for some reason, couldn't read that. If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right. I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. I was the prophet of Arceus and the oracle of Delphox. I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of, future, of the future, you'll have to take it by force. Boom! Fighting a dude. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared! I'm still gonna lose. Oh, we have six Pokemon. I thought Claydol. You're psychic and ground. I think ice hurts ground. Uh, maybe that's rock. I'm probably wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even kill it in one hit. This is some scammage. Oh, now he's gonna kill me in one hit. Probably. Nope. Game didn't decide to do that. I appreciate that game. Dude, Nuzleave is gonna be like level 50 by the end of this fight. <laughs> Yeah, Nuzleaf! Only one? Oh, I've been scammed. Wait, did you say Delphox? Um, probably Rock then. He's also part Psychic, which would be Dark as strong. So I have Dark on him, but I might go to... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Mystical Fire. GG, no re. Not bad. I didn't expect you to do that much with uh, with Armageddon. Trying to get him evolved because like, he he'd be so much better when he's Tyrantar. <laughs> wow, wow, that was like nothing, bro. You didn't give anything. Oh, frick! What is this one? Um, I don't even know what type of Pokemon this is. So Cleaver, yay! <laughs> What type of Pokemon is Jellison? Oh, frick. I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. I'm gonna go a low sleep. Is he part fairy? He might be. Oh, frick. Also, in the most recent patch, they changed the, uh... It doesn't affect them. Cool. Is he part water? Oh, no. They, uh, re anyways, they reduced the, uh, time it takes for them to Mega Evolve, so that's kind of nice. I think he might be- What is he? Is he Psychic? Maybe he has a trend of them all being Psychic type then. So I'll keep that in mind. So you will die. Yay for Cleaver. Okay, and you are gonna gain some levels. Trying to learn Swagger. I don't think I really want that. But we'll make sure. I also didn't check his stats once again. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. I'll just send an Aegis Slash. We'll just keep going since there's probably part Psychic, even I know I can't actually remember what this one is. This one's part Steel, I think. We'll find out. Part Psychic! Keep forgetting! Yay for Joel! <laughs> uh, 
That would be an idiot. Just stick with Night Slash, Troll. Just don't make it hard on yourself. <laughs> oh, you transform! I did. I so did. <laughs> um, Armageddon, maybe? Ooh. I'm not looking hot right now. If I can get a hit off, Crunch might do it. Oh. What type, what type of attack is Sacred Sword? Fighting? No. I don't freaking know. Um, yeah, so we'll go into hacks. Because we got them hacks, yo. What are you? Why isn't a lion man hurt? <laughs> I don't think, is a normal going to hurt it then? Jeez, this thing is hitting hard. Yeah, it doesn't affect it, which is what I figured. I am so effing up right now, guys. I am effing up. Help me. <laughs> no, Leaf, you're my only hope. <laughs> nah, we good. Just get killed, please. Thank you. Ugh. Alright, Nuzleaf. We'll change. Try to get some damage in with Aurora, and then we'll probably go revive someone. Ice beam it up. I forgot this had a Mega. Yeah, looks freaking awesome. Please tell me I go first still. Yay! Probably not gonna do much. But whatever damage I can do certainly is good enough. Um, do it again. Oh, you! Uh. 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 Alright, um. We can sacrifice Tinker Sword because he's not gonna be able to do anything, so. Go to bag, go to the medicine, medicine please, okay, <laughs> we'll revive up, cleaver, and then, I don't know who else, but please don't kill me, that almost killed me, that's insanity yo, alright, and then we'll heal up him. I was going to try and revive my Aurora as well, but I just need someone, so please. Apparently he decided that I could live, so we're going to revive my other Pokemon. Since Aurora didn't have much trouble against him, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> Let me do one more. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah! Probably shouldn't have tried to do that impersonation. I'm gonna kill myself now. <laughs> and you get healed, please. Alright, we're back in business. Ha! <laughs> Keeps going for it. Can any of my moves hurt it? Psychic, I don't think does, because he's possibly this. Why did it keep failing? Whatever. I'm dead now, that's fine. I didn't even want my Tinker Sword. Do you? Um, and we'll just go with uh, try hit with Blizzard, or just go the non-risky way. We'll go the non-risky form. Try and get three hits, and you hit twice, the least amount possible. Woo! <laughs> I probably won't die from this anyway, so we're good. And now you're dead. Hit one times. Yay. And we got it. We're good. Heh, <laughs> not bad. Alright, I'll spill the beans. This prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard of the correct version. 
Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not going to read to you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret, and I don't want to be that oracle, you know? Hope you're ready. Ahem. The first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero. This freaking text, I can't read anything, it says, chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed. Undefeated in Torin, they'll move on victorious. The last secret piece of information is that, that in the end, in, is that, is that in the end, the hero will join the inter infernal call and betray their friends. That's basic, wait, what? One of us is going to join the infernal call? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. This reminds me of what me what author L. Frank L. Frank Baum did when introducing. Oh, stop it! How can you stay so calm? We were just told of one of told one of us is a traitor. This isn't the time to joke around. Well, he did say the you'll save the region, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can you you can use that to your advantage. But anyway, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help with, well, what it, with whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. Oh man, oh man. Nora, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic, Damien. We just got, got told that we're going to lose. Worrying about this isn't going to help. We need to work together if we're going to help let this make us turn on each other. Let us make us turn on. I said that in a sexual way. Turn on each other. Like turn on, turn on. Yeah, nope. I can't. <laughs> We might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were an infernal cultist I, in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tact, do you? Not Mr. I ran my mouth in front of a cultist and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Nora, please stop. <laughs> you know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. I'm going to go now. See you in Sonata City, Trihorse. There's a gym there, and we'll need its badge in order to dive. Why did I say all of that? I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm going to go apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up. Oh, man! All right, so it gave me an escape rope, probably meaning that I can escape with it. That was kind of cool. I like that. Um, Why did you give me an escape rope if I can't flip and use it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, so... If the, the prophecy is actually going to happen, which most video games, just kind of the story always is anticlimactic. It's like, yay, nobody's evil. If it is evil, who do you guys think is the evil one? To be honest, I think it's going to be my my character. Uh, just because I mean, he doesn't talk. Um, so why wouldn't he be evil? Think about that. He's going to be the strongest one. He's going to be most victorious. And then he's going to turn on everybody and kick their butts. <laughs> that would be the most terrible ending to a video game. The main character goes evil and just ruins everyone's lives. But yeah, now that we got all that out of the way, now we're going to uh, probably find the next area. After we heal. I don't know where I'm going next, so I'm going to check the map. Yeah, I'm liking my team so far. I think that this is going to be a, a good team. Um, whatever this freaking uh, XP share is, it's giving Nuzleaf a buttload of XP. Um, because I haven't gotten any level ups on any of these Pokemon through that whole endeavor. So, definitely need to take it off of him as quickly as possible once he's able to fend for himself, probably. Um, so, we'll go, go check out the map. Route 8. I guess the only option is going down, so we'll go down. Down like that one thing. Okay. We've already searched the place, so we don't need to bother with this. Um. Alright, yeah, that lag is kind of driving me crazy, though. It's like walk watching a slideshow, almost. Is 
there items in there? I'm kinda interested what all is in there. No, it is a Pokemon! Whoa! Freaking wild hound doom, are you serious? I gotta run though, because I'm using an ice type. But that's insane! Heard there was a hidden grotto on this route. I've been searching for it for ages. I wish I knew what to look for. Oh man! Hidden grotto! We gon' find it, yo! Alright, Amber Palm. That is normal and only normal, I think. So. Don't have my fighting type user, so let's go with the typical ice beam of awesome. Whoa! That's strong. Okay, and now you're dead. Hopefully I'll actually get a level up on my Pokemon. Yay! Nice. Level 50. Not bad. I heard there was a chance to see a rare, rare Pokemon in it. I'm kind of wondering what it will be then. Is that an uh, item? No. I kind of forget what the hidden grotto thing looks like though. So that's going to be difficult looking for that. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like. Oh, there's a thingy there. Probably an Ultra Ball? Yes, sir. It's, it's preparing me for the uh, the Pokemon that's going to be in the Hidden Grotto. I hope it's really good. Rapidash. They're all fire types. I start it. This is not going to be the place to train my... Uh, my cleaver or aurora at all oh no a trainer I'm not prepared I can't lose well you're gonna sand slash your ground so I believe ice will work against you dead in one hit please yeah 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 Extra sensory. What is that? Psychic. The user attacks with an odd, unstable power. May also make the target flinch. Faint attack. Um, I'm not sure I'm a fan of Razor Wind, so we'll get rid of that. Vesp Quinn. Which will also be weak to the ice. Aurora is just killing it today. <laughs> uh, what? I didn't kill him one hit? Yo. I'm being scanned right now. <clears throat> I feel like I need a stronger, uh, stronger electric type move on Aurora. Well, looks like I'm not. You are now one in one, probably. Because if you're undefeated, you've probably only won one match. <laughs> There's a little boy down here. Hello there, little boy. There's a lot of stuff here, dude. This is kind of insanity. I forget what hidden grottos look like. This is gonna drive me crazy. Hello there, little boy. I'm finally out of school and I'm ready to kick some butt. Get ready to face my Hariyama. Uh, I had to get a drink. Sorry about that. So he's just fighting, I believe. Go to Ice Beam, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got some uh, defense. Yeah, just kill me. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad time to go into my Tinker Sword, get him some XP. I honestly might take off the XP share of Nuzbelief now. Like, I need them to be like trained and ready for the gym which I know Nuzleaf probably won't. Actually, he might be high enough by that point. But like, I'm gonna need to train them up a little bit. So, I don't know. And then I will murder you. You must die in one hit, please. Thank you. I appreciate that.
Okay. Harry, I'm a no. Are you alright? Suck it, kid. Suck it. Let's take this. And switch it. No. And switch it with my Aurora. I mean, with my Tinkersaur. <laughs> Gotta give it to my Tinkersaur. I can't speak today, you know. <clears throat> oh no, I can't give it to him. Oh shoot. Um, I don't know. We'll just hold it for now. Actually, we'll just frickin' me, frick me. Frick me, alright? Take it. Take it, hacks. Just. Just take it. Just take my lucky egg, okay? Gosh. Hidden Grotto. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Must serve a cross to get that. What's inside? What awaits? A quick save. Ooh, I'm gonna close my eyes. It's a uh, the thingy. I don't freaking remember what that thing's called. Is it Delta? I'm not even sure. I have no idea how this what this Pokemon is to be honest. I don't remember its original look, so I don't know if this is Delta or not. Um, but we'll catch it anyways, just in case it is. If I need to, I'll go to Hacks. Go, uh, false swipe for it. Looks like I won't need that. <laughs> I'll see what type it is. I feel like Slurpuff was probably Fairy before. I'm not sure. Alright, you guys can let me know if that's Delta or not. <laughs> I don't freaking know. <laughs> so we'll find out later. I'll look it up, I guess. But if that's what I got from that, I'm actually pretty underwhelmed. If it's not Delta. Because, like, what was the point of that then? Looks like this is the town, so I'm going to go back up. Search what's up here. Maybe this guy's going to give me something good. You should always examine every nook and cranny of a new area. You never know what you might find. For example, by looking under Selene City, I saw a rundown to tower chock full of rare Pokemon. Ooh, what is that at? Selene Tower, as he said. Heard that there's a TM for a rare weather inducing move in the Utira Library. I had a look around, but I couldn't find anywhere. What a shame. It might have been that uh, moon whatever that I found. Moon something or other. What is this? I don't know. All right, we're good. Are you a trainer? You are. You don't stand a chance against me. I'm a psychic. I can predict your every move. That's good for you, bro. Do you want a cookie with that? Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use uh, draining kiss. <laughs> All right, let's kick them some booty. Good try, bro. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> try Psychic, but I don't think it's gonna do much damage, so I might have to switch to something that's got a better uh, dark type move. And it's about to rest itself. Not rest, yeah, rest itself. Um, so I really need to switch. Cleaver time. But you're ready to give it your time. No, it almost went. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Uh, night slash. I think Pokemon should not be allowed to attack while they're sleeping. Like, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear. Meow stick. I think that's a normal type as well, isn't it? Oh no, that's a different Pokemon. I was thinking of something else. You get pwned by Night Slash. Oh dear, don't kill me! 
Dang. Dang. I guess Armageddon can do the final shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting nearly as much XP as I should be. I think it's Nuzleaf. I'm not sure why. You guys should, like, definitely tell me what the heck's going on there. How? How could I have lost? I don't know, man. Don't tell me. Don't ask me. Same thing. Same thing. I don't even know. So I'm actually sleeping soundly. Alright, I'm gonna guess that's gonna be important later on. Um, but to be honest, I think we can hold off the rest of this until another episode, so... If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like button and subscribe. Uh, share me around to your friends if you could, because that's actually greatly appreciated. Um, it helps me out a ton. And, um... Uh, yeah. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Because of things that will happen in the future. So, yeah. I'll see you guys... Next time!